Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is September 29th. By the time that this video is live, it'll be September 30th, and I want to let you guys know that coming up very soon, you'll be able to sign up for the public beta version of Samsung One UI 3.0. It'll be available for the Galaxy S20, the S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra. Now, I saved this image here from a Samsung community page, and I want to let you guys know now because it'll probably come maybe the first week of October. So I'm going to show you in today's video where you can go to find it and just make sure that you always look for updates, look at Twitter, just kind of follow along with everything. Hopefully, you'll be one of the first people to nab this one. Now, it should be available in South Korea and also the United States. Now you can see that I do have it right over here, the Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11. This one's actually the developer version. So this one is a pre-beta that I was able to get onto. It's a different program. Now on this phone over here, the nice thing is that when you do play with the newer version, there's a lot of different changes. Even the lock screen here has changed. Uh, the logo for the, the fingerprint reader is different. The logo on the top where the lock button is, I believe that it's a lot more responsive right here. Also you have a different type of volume rocker there's so many different things that's been updated and changed as well as moved even all your different power modes have been uh, individualized so you have your enhanced processing minimal battery usage and power saving mode so all those will be you know in their own individual lane there now where I found this one here if I go to this website it was a Samsung community page I basically just saved the image now the reason why that I saved this image over into the gallery is so then this way we'd be able to use the vision and we'd be able to uh, translate this one so then we can kind of read what is going on so let me highlight a few different areas here and I'll let you know what this one says here in English. Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials about your Samsung Galaxy devices, and you love information about the most up-to-date updates that are about to come or came today, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So after highlighting all of this, uh, basically it just states the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, uh, let's see here, subsidiary, blah, 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 Samsung members home banner and notice related to subscribing to Samsung One UI beta program. So it's really kind of chopped up uh, English, but what it's trying to tell you is when you go inside of your Samsung folder, just make sure you go inside of the Samsung members application. And then inside of here, these are the banners that you want to take a look at. Now, you might even see something orange right here, a small little banner, maybe right below even these banners that it might even show it as well. You can even go inside of your little notifications just to see, you know, what is new. Uh, here is this one right here that was just shared. It gives a lot of details about Samsung One UI 2, what all is still about to be updated, what has already been updated. But really, the main area is going to be these banners. Make sure you go through all of these ones here. And then when you tap on that, it's a way that you're able to sign up for the beta program. Now, one way you can make sure that this one is updated is just go inside of your settings, go to about Samsung members, and just make sure that this thing right here is updated. Now, if you don't see this one sitting, you know, right here inside of your folders, then really all you have to do is go right back inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of the Galaxy store on the top to search for Samsung members. And then once inside of here, uh, if you notice that you have this version one, make sure you uninstall this one and then reinstall the newest one. Even if you had this one installed, it'll probably be grayed out on your phone, which is actually pretty nice that they did that. And then right here, you can maybe even see if there's an update. So make sure you have the latest update. Maybe even sometimes go into your settings, go inside of your applications, and you can force stop Samsung members and then reopen it. So then this way you're getting the latest, most refreshed details. So really that's all you have to do to sign up. Just make sure that you have Samsung members on your phone. You're literally checking every day, every few hours, beginning October 1st. And I bet you anything, it should hopefully pop out the very first week of October. And also too, what I'm excited for is on this phone over here that already has it. I'm excited for this beta public version to come out because then that means that I will also get an update for this version here, uh, which again, I'm also super excited. You notice that I double tap the screen. That's one of the newer features with this is that you can also double tap it to uh, put the screen to sleep. So then this way you don't always have to hit 
that power button. So a couple other things, if you haven't seen my past videos, one of the nice things is that when you go inside of the camera here, when you press and hold, uh, you're gonna notice that your auto exposure lock is gonna look just a little bit different than what it did from before. And then your brightness level is gonna be right here. So this is really gonna come in handy when you take a picture of something right in front of you. Uh, maybe, so let me just give you an example. So let's say that I wanted to take a picture of my ring light. So when you take a look at this, uh, you're gonna notice that it's actually not that good of an image. Now, if I was to go right back up, and if I did my auto exposure lock on that light, and then I took a picture, so you can see how it was locked. You can also change the brightness of the image as well. So now you're gonna see that it's a little bit better of an image. All I'd really have to do is just bring that up just a little bit more. The way that it looks like on your other past devices or the one that you have right now, it, it just looks a little bit different. So that's one of the other small changes. The other small changes is that anytime that you get some notifications on the top, it'll actually prioritize it and place it on the very top. You can also tap on each individual notification if you got it from your mom and then maybe maybe just a friend. Well, with your mom's, you tap on your mom's image and you can actually set that one also as a high priority. Another fun one, this was one that I showed off inside of the phone application. When you go inside of your settings on the very top right hand side, and then you can also change your call background. You can make it look really cool. You can have it as a photo. You can also have it as an image. And then something else that has been updated, they actually moved and also changed the name of your edge lighting. So normally you went inside of your display and then you look for your edge screen settings. Uh, so it's actually not here. It's gonna be underneath the notifications tab. And then inside of notifications, if you have your detailed turn on, you actually won't see your edge lighting, but you wanna turn on brief. And now inside of brief, this is where you go to your brief pop-up settings. And this is where you can see your edge lighting style. So that's where that one has been moved and changed. So I have a full video talking about everything that's brand new. Uh, and I'll actually link that right up over here on the very top right hand side. I'll probably even put the link below the video inside of the description. But I wanna make sure that you guys are on top of this update that is about to be coming out. I will also be taking a look at it right here for myself on the Galaxy S20, even though it's here on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.